Today we're going to be taking a look at the Saris Freedom Platform Style 2 Bike Rack for Fat Bikes. Part number SA4412B-FB. We'll give you the skinny on how to carry your fat tire bikes. The Saris Freedom Fat Tire Bike Rack allows you to carry two fat tire bikes on the rear of your vehicle. You can see here it allows you to carry fat tire bikes and standard tire bikes, two of either or one of each on the rear of your vehicle. It holds our bikes with three points of contact. We've got one strap for each of our wheels, and then we've got a cradle here at the center mast. I've gone ahead and taken off the bikes so we can take a closer look at some more features. The center cradles are cushioned so it won't harm the finish on our bikes. They're also grooved to accommodate brake lines and cables. They rotate to fit different shapes and sizes of bikes, and they also adjust up and down. Our wheel cradles here are designed to fit a wide variety of tires. We've got a cutout here to fit road bike tires. They're gonna fit standard mountain bike tires, and they're gonna fit fat tires up to five inches wide. They're also adjustable along the platform here to work with different size wheelbases up to 48 inches long. The raised shank of the elevated platform is gonna give us more ground clearance here at the rear. When not in use, the center mast folds to the left or right. Either way, it's gonna allow us easy access to our rear hatch. For added security, you can pick up the Saris Hitch Tight Anti-Rattle Hitch Lock, part number SA3022, or you can pick up the Saris Cable Lock at eight foot long, part number SA981. Compared to other similar bike racks, this one's lighter, so it's gonna be a lot easier to maneuver. And of course, it carries a wider variety of bikes with those fat tire bike cradles included. The whole thing is made out of a lightweight, sturdy steel construction. It only weighs 22 and a half pounds. It has a black powder coat finish, so it's gonna resist rust and corrosion. It has a 35 pound per bike weight capacity, and it features a limited lifetime warranty. Now that we got all the features, I'll go ahead and show you how to get it installed. Now this can be used for either inch and a quarter or two inch hitches. We've got our included adapter sleeve on our shank here for our two inch receiver. Let's go ahead and load it up. So we'll line up our pinholes. That looks pretty good. Then we'll take our included anti-rattle bolt and thread that through here on the driver's side. Once we get that hand tightened, we can grab a three quarter inch wrench or a three quarter inch socket. You will have to provide your own tools to get this tightened up. Now the nice thing about the anti-rattle bolt here is it's gonna help reduce a lot of play and rattle within our receiver and our bike rack here to make for a nice solid ride for our two bikes. All right, looks like we've got it tight. We'll take our clip, slip that on the other side. We've got it. Now in preparation for loading up our bikes, we'll need to raise up the center mass. We'll pull out on the yellow T-pin here. We'll also need to undo our straps on the main cradle here and then the two wheel cradles. So we can push in on the little button here and then just guide that strap out. Same thing with up top here. You'll also want to be sure that that center cradle is lowered down that way we can easily load up a bike. So I'm going to bring in my fat tire bike and I'll set it in place. Now as you can see I'll have to adjust my cradle a little bit, no problem. We can just loosen it up, slightly pick up on our bike, and then adjust it forward. Then we can take our center cradle here and raise it up into position. Now you may have to adjust your pedals or your crank a little bit. With it in position, we'll take our strap, run it over the top, into the buckle and pull it nice and tight. Then we'll come to our cradles. We can adjust our wheel so our strap goes between our spoke. Pull it nice and tight. We'll repeat the same process for the front one. Now I've gone ahead and loaded up one more bike. Let's go ahead and take it out on our test course and see how it performs. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side to side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or an even pavement. And last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, 
or driving in and out of a driveway. And that's going to complete our look at the Saris Freedom Platform Style 2 Bike Rack for fat bikes, an inch and a quarter and two inch hitches. Part number SA4412B-FB. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.